Welcome everyone to uh, <laughs> a new idea I have going on, which is um, trying to focus it here a little bit. There we go, somewhere, some way, but we'll get it going. Okay, um, this is a feature called um, Christmas Light Autopsy. So right here, I'm looking at a string of 50 bulbs. This is from the 1980s. Remember that. So this has been working up to last year. Um, it failed finally. So um, plugged in, checked. Check the bulbs and everything. Everything looked all right, except one thing. If I could find it real quick, mm, it was blue. I remember it was blue. Um, it up here, nope. Wait a minute, it was blue. I threw it up here. I should have kept it here, but there is actually a broken wire. So this line here, go right there. So that is the cause of failure. Just snapped. It's just old. So, this line will be scrapped after, let's see, 1986, I think we bought these. I think 85 or 86 we bought this line, remember, because we had these for a long time. And these are um, short lead. Um, let me check out here, right there, yep. Yeah, it has a short lead. So this was interesting because it had a short lead. And you see the spacing is huge. Twice the amount of space it has. Um, see, on the... Uh, let's see if we could click on that, maybe, there you go, does it tell you, Try, the manufacturers on these things sometimes exist, nah, and, uh, and uh, the underwriter cable's gone, tag's gone, so, some cheap Chinese, um, lights up, you know, you find everywhere, the bulbs are faded, every place a lot of bulbs, the, the colored ones are newer ones, but, yep, so this one's gonna be scrapped out, junked out. That was the reason for the failure. Age and being used consistently for the last 30 something years is taking a toll on it. So, again, this one will be junked out. And this is the first episode of many from Christmas Light Autopsy.